When your teacher asked you in high school, what do you want to be when you grow up? Did you say you want to be an Olympian and win the gold medal? I never did. However, if that's what you want to do, let me tell you how you can make that happen. I'm Ricky Calabat. Welcome to my Live a Legacy channel. My intentions are to provide you with valuable information that will alter the trajectory of your life by creating new opportunities for your family and your future. What is Straight Talk with Ricky? It's the real deal, unedited, unfiltered truth about life and all the lessons that come with it. Subscribe now. Okay, so when we're young, we get to see just how good we are amongst our peers. And let's face it, some people are better, faster, stronger in different things than other people. And some things just come easier for some people. And maybe it's your natural born gifts, your talents, your DNA, your upbringing, especially when we're smaller or when we're younger. Uh, you could be bigger than somebody, you can be smaller. I mean, even though we're in the same grade, it could be, you know, a year apart, which when you're little, it's a big difference. Five year olds versus six year olds, you know, it's still. Uh, it's a big, it can be a big difference. So when you're good at something, sometimes we take it for granted because it comes so easy to us that we feel like we don't have to try as hard. And I'm thinking athletically, but it's also um, education wise. Sometimes when you get straight A's, you don't try as hard because it's so easy for you. So I'm here to tell you don't rest on your laurels. Don't, just because something comes easy to you, don't satisfy with just being better than average. Like if you really, really want to be the best of the best of the best, you need to compete against the best. You need to keep growing. You need to keep learning. You need to keep doing what you're already good at on the highest level possible. And that's the only way you're going to climb that ladder. I promise you, as good as you think you are, there is always somebody better than you. Until you reach the Olympics and until you represent your country and you go and you win the gold medal. And even then, you are the best in the entire world at that event at that specific date and time in history. That still doesn't mean you're the best ever. That means you were the best at one point in time. And it's fucking remarkable, right? I'm not taking it away from anybody, <laughs> right? Just to say that would be pretty amazing. It would be spectacular to say, yeah, I was the best ever at this time in this you know, sport or this event and whatever, right? I mean, a gold medal is pretty, pretty spectacular when you think about it. Um, you know, the best of the best of everybody. So I never had that, but nobody ever taught me to have that dream, right? No one ever said, do you wanna be, what do you wanna be the best at? Better than anybody else in the whole world. What is that? I don't know, maybe I would have thought of life differently. Maybe I would have made different decisions. Maybe I would have said, well, I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. Maybe I can do better at that. You know, I mean, I wasn't really exposed to a lot of things when I was, you know, younger, when I was growing up. <clears throat> I didn't play organized sports, which of course now, you know, people need to start when they're four years old in order to become, you know, the best of the best. So, um, what if you don't have that opportunity? And so, uh, you know, life, environment, circumstances, you know, how your family, how you're raised, and you know, all that stuff factors into a little bit, but you still have a chance to unleash your potential, right? You still have a chance to spread your wings and fly as high as possible. And so my question to you is, what is it? What is it that comes natural to you? that is just you 
see, I mean, you see it. That's why I say when you're younger, you see, you don't know how good you are because you just think that I'm doing what I'm doing and the results are what they are. But until you compare yourself to what other kids, it doesn't come as easy to them or, you know, that's more challenging for them. So, like, you have to be aware. You have to be aware. And I'm saying this when you're younger, but it's throughout your life, right? It doesn't stop when you're in high school, when you're in college, when you're at the job, right? You're always looking and seeing what comes easier, natural to you. And if you're really good at it, most of the time you're going to like it. And if you like it and you're good at it and you start to grow and things start to normally happen faster, so you start to accelerate your growth and your success if in fact you're passionate about what you are good at, what comes natural to you. And if that's the case, you will start to explode through the stages and all of a sudden you will be on, you know, I mean, it's so funny. It's really cool how the world works because like you go, like, you know, I have two boys, you know, almost six and four and a half and they're just starting soccer. They're starting to all these things. And so when you're playing and it's so funny because you start in a little neighborhood, right? Like here we are in Miami and it's like, okay, if you're the best of the team in Miami, then you get to play for your school and you get to play on your school, right? And then from the school, you get to go um, to be like maybe on a state level, right? You go from high school, maybe you start traveling amongst your region and you start traveling and start playing other kids from within your region. And then if you're still good, then you start to play on this state team. And a state team, now you start traveling all over the country. And then you start to go to the next level, right? So you're playing, so you start off in a little neighborhood and based upon your performance, you just keep expanding your circle, right? You go from this to now, oh, let's see how good you are with these people. Let's see how good you are over here. And your circle just starts to grow until it's the globe, until it's the freaking world. And like, okay, now let's compete with you amongst other top number one, top five people in their country. You're competing with them. I'm exhausted just thinking about that. I mean, that's pretty special talent. That is some very, very extraordinary talent. And you may possess that. Are you tapping into it? Are you giving yourself a chance to be an Olympian? I don't know. I never did because I never really knew what I wanted to do or what I was really good at. I was kind of a jack of all trades, actually. I was pretty good at a lot of things, but I wasn't sensational at anything, really right you know now i've grown and i've learned and i've evolved and you know i like what i do and you know sharing information life lessons all of these things i really enjoy i love doing this if they can make this an olympic sport <laughs> maybe i'd have a chance in a couple of years but you know until then it's like i do enjoy this and i do appreciate um, you know, helping others and sharing insight and advice and lessons and, you know, everything else you know about. So back to you. Focus on what you are really good at, right? When we're growing up, we always have our teachers, you know, like, you know, even our parents, you're like, oh, you bring home your report card. Oh, you got five A's and you got one C in science which you hate science. You don't ever want to learn anything about science. You're not going to be a biologist. You're not going to be an astronaut or whatever. But the, everyone says, what do they say? They don't say great job on those A's. They say, hey, 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 you got to see. Hey, man, you got to work on that. Pick up that grade in science. You better study your science. You better focus on that science because that you got to get that up a little bit. No, you don't. Here's the secret. No, you don't. If you don't like it, you don't like it, right? But society tells us that we need to be balanced and we need to focus on getting that up, right? No, I give you permission. You say, Ricky said, I don't have to. I want to focus on my A's and make them A+. Plus. Make them A++++, plus, 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 right? Become great at what you're naturally good at instead of trying to be average at something you suck at.
I'm going to let that sit for a little bit because that's important, right? Be amazingly great at what you like, you enjoy, and you're already good at. Rather than wasting all your time and energy trying to chase and make other people happy to be better at something that you don't care about and you're not even good at it because you don't like it. Okay? So, stick to your strengths. Don't worry about your weaknesses. That's how you're going to be able to stand on the podium. That's how a gold medal may be in your future. And that's how you get to really, really unleash your God-given talents and success is right around the corner stay focused and shoot for the stars the olympics baby you can do it even if it's not sports even if it's in your business even if it's with your family you want to be the best dad ever go do that you want to be the best mom ever congratulations or the best doctor or the best whoever right just whatever it is you're passionate about just shoot for the olympics in your mind to be the best of the best of the best at what you do Got it? Get out there and have a great day and touch people's lives in a positive way. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell. Like and share with three people you think will also benefit from this game-changing message. Connect with me. All my social media links are below in the description. We welcome and reply to all comments. So please share your comments below and please let us know what topic interests you the most.